Hello and welcome to Sony News. It's been a busy year for Sony News, so to help our friends in Vox to keep up, here's the latest. Sony News Town Centre continues to change and grow. New modern buildings have replaced the old, including a pizza cafe, the bakery and cake shop. The continued brand development has seen the supermarket franchise evolve from Attack to Simply and now to the main brand name of Auchan. The land you see here is being cleared for a new and larger Auchan. Travelling south on the D910 from Montbazon we see the town and twinning signpost, followed by the new northern roundabout. We pass the new rapidly changing Auchan development at the junction with the town centre. Don't believe this sign though, it's a fake. We now have new, more economic and eco-friendly street lighting, LEDs with variable brilliance, and we have honoured our previous mayor with his name on the Salle des Fêtes. We even have a school for driving. The town's urban development continues. La Bouberie is already a significant development in the northeast. The existing medical centre will be replaced by a new one on the west side. Also on the west are already 18 new homes and a further 27 in development. Again significant, with much groundwork already completed. Continuing south on the D910, we see renovated homes, the new town hall, the monument to the dead, and the old Aubert, recently purchased by the Auchan franchisee. We had an exhibition for the 11th of November 2018, anniversary, to commemorate our losses in World War I. Note uh, Charles Trion on the side of the monument and the book of his letters from 1914 until his death at the front in 1915. We now have a wine store, tech support, an accountancy offices, a mason, fruit and vegetables, butcher and a charcuterie, a sports shop, as well as furniture and kitchen stores. So let's carry on to the Southern Roundabout. The Southern Roundabout is large and we can see our church in the town centre from the top of the brilliantly renovated windmill. The road to the east leads to the ecological pond and ditch called the Foss Ravi. Two new classrooms have been built to accommodate the children of our new residents. The new Mediatek and Library is superb and recently hosted the Ten Fingers exhibition including pottery, tapestry, paintings, montage and sculptures. No surprise, the Twinning Committee's Tea Time Cafe had lots of visitors. Ah, the temptation of cakes. <laughs>